this one is for me. I, I wanted to do the uh, LVS Mojo uh, Memphis cone from Lord of Bass, but I, I was out of them and I wanted to get this one knocked out. This is my favorite frame. Uh, it's uh, from a VXF, no, was it uh, NVX VCW uh, 15. Um, some of them, I think for a minute, uh, Soundstream also used this. This is originally a Soundstream tarantula frame uh, and it has four terminals to do quad coils. Uh, I think they only did like one year of that. And then of course the Gonzo Jr. motor uh, with spacers, soft eight inch spider. Now on this one, I wanted to do this one for home theater. Uh, and basically this is gonna be the last home theater sub I'll ever own. I say that, but I don't really mean it. And uh, I went ahead and extended one of the heavy copper coils that we got from Dan Wiggins at the Adire um, uh, closeout back in 06, 07. And so I'm excited to see what it is because the, the coil is like half a pound. Like it's eight really full fucking ounces of copper and it's just really heavy. And then soft suspension here, soft suspension on the spider. So the FS should be really low. Let's see. Uh, Pat, will you hold that up? Just cock it up there like that. Thank you. Yeah, 20 hertz. So definitely low. And then let me make sure I adjust the diameter to 13. And then put that on there. So it's tw about 21 if you want to round up, and then 5.68 on the VAS. So. Um, but this is the, you know, this is the eight inch version of the floppy butthole. I just got a client last night that wants to do a 10 inch version uh, with that same coil. And then he also wants, uh, well, he also wanted to do the, um, the single copper coil, but uh, David, David is doing his job, so I gotta end up doing my job, but I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.